Now, you know, we, we, we played pretty well, but we didn't look real in sync. We were a little disappointed on the bench. We just said that it was, we looked tired. I think we're mentally exhausted. Uh, Cash looks tired. Um, he hasn't practiced much, you know. Uh, his brother was up here supporting him yesterday. Uh, his brother had a game in Albion, and it was the same time as our practice, so I sent Cash just down there to support his brother. And missed the day before the game practice, and I think um, those are some of the things that you got to do in this situation, but at the same time, we're not, we haven't practiced very well, and, and I thought, you know, Kithy or uh, uh, Xavier, we looked really tired, you know, and I think mental fatigue is a lot worse than physical, but I also think we got to get back to, to practicing now. We've, we've tried to do what we got to do, and it's going to be a process still, but I appreciated um, the fact that the guys, you know, we had some positives. Uh, 31 assists is a big positive. Oh, rebounding them that bad is a big positive. I thought our running game got going some, but we didn't seem to run as good because Cash didn't push as good. I thought Rocket, you know, other than a couple of shots, but he gets six, seven rebounds and he gets six assists, and you know that's better. So he's getting better at that. Xavier, you know, we wanted to go inside. We thought we we're taking too many threes, and we only took 17 threes, but we. Uh, Got the ball inside, got to the free throw line a little more. All those things were part of what we wanted to do. But, um, you know, what scares you is when you when you play a game like Seton Hall, and you know, really we hardly practiced before we went there, seriously. Um, and then you win it. I think players think, oh, this is, you know, load management. We won't uh, practice and we'll just play, you know. And uh, you just can't do that. And I think that led to some of our shooting this past two games. And I think it, it's leading to our conditioning. So um, tomorrow's off and Wednesday and Thursday is going to be boot camp. And uh, we're going to have to get back at it the best we can. So pleased with a lot of things. The 31 assists was the biggest. I thought we got a lot of ball, a lot of some new guys. I remember we played without Aaron Henry tonight. Um, but I thought, you know, Kyle did some really good things defensively. I thought Gabe Brown did a good job. Um, you know, our freshman and our sophomore by committee were getting that four spot and taken care of. That's the other guy that looked really with it tonight was Kith here. So, you know, we're just going to keep battling through this. Um, I do want to thank our people publicly. I just felt that, uh, you know, Cassius needed one moment. He kept telling me much he appreciated his mother, you know, the cards and the flowers and all the things coming to the office. And, and so I just said, if you want a minute, you can, you can thank them all. And I thought that was good. I thought our people responded well, and I was very appreciative of that. So questions, I'll take them. Tom, there was a point you guys were up 25 into 30 somewhere in there. You had three guys on the floor diving for the ball. Just ask the other And Cassius was one, I think, you know. Is, that isn't the time where we were worried about Rocket getting hit in the head, was it? No, that was a different time, but I mean, it was, uh, when, when I saw Cash go down on the floor up that much, I said, well, you know, this team going to find a way to bounce back here. You know, we, we've got a lot of work ahead to play in a tournament like we're going to play in. Um, but that, those are another things that are encouraging, you know, and I appreciate how hard my teams usually play, but uh, we did look a little... Xavier had eight rebounds at halftime, and he plow horsed his way through two more rebounds, you know. Dwayne Stevens said they took Stevens' last rebound and gave it to Xavier. I don't know if that's true or not to get his double-double, but give, uh, give Xavier credit. He hung in there, but we just think he's got so much more to give, and we're going to try to get that out of him. Get an update on Aaron. Was it just kind of one of those preventative things with the long trip? Yeah, you know, you know. All kidding aside, I mean, I am concerned about where people are right now. He, I mean, he sprained his ankle, you know. Um, didn't have to amputate, didn't have to do anything. It just sprained his ankle. And, you know, and he was sort of half limping around. So I just said, hey, you know what? I'll, I'll keep you out of this game. And, uh, and then on Wednesday, Saddle up.
So that's what we did. Along with that, I mean, you were able to get Gabe some minutes there, uh, extended run, and some other guys like Connor and that. I, I guess what did you see in, in terms of that and in terms of juggling the lineup with Aaron? Well, I thought Gabe did a pretty good job, you know. Um, he's had a couple good games in a row now. I mean, he's getting better, you know. He's attacking the rim. He's going to the offensive glass. He's running the court better. He's making shots. Somewhat, I don't know what he ended up. Uh, Gabe Brown, five for seven. Um, got to the line a little bit. Uh, you know, Connor, we we threw in there because uh, he's been practicing his butt off, as as has a couple of our other guys. Brock Washington right now might be shooting as well as anybody, so he might be the next to get a chance. But um, we said we're going to play a lot of guys, and we'll start paring it down, but it isn't going to be right now. We've gone through too much where... Uh, the other fairness part is, you know, when Cash doesn't practice yesterday and everybody's playing with different people, then all of a sudden Aaron's not and Cash isn't in sync with them. And uh, we threw a couple away that were not real good passes, and he normally doesn't do that. So, you know, guys, there's going to be some strange things that happen, and we just hope to keep minimizing, minimizing, and minimizing those and see if we can uh, get better at... Uh, and staying focused longer each and every day. Only time will tell. Tom, uh, you talked about the running game getting uh, going some. Were some of those on uh, off of their makes where you got it out of the net and up the court about as quick as you yeah, could? Yeah, we ran pretty good off makes and misses at times, but it just wasn't as sharp, you know, like I, I, Cash did some good things. He did some great things, but trust me when I say he was it himself. I mean, he was... He was ringing wet five minutes into that game, you know. I mean, he, uh, I'll give him credit, though, defensively. I mean, he played better. He was on the floor a couple times. Um, you know, it's, it's, it borderlines remarkable what that kid has done. And, uh, you know, I keep saying I don't think I could have done it. But uh, that is, as I said, his safe place. And it is a place where he, where he, he loves being around his teammates and, coaches and the game that he loves so uh, we're just going to keep being there for support and yet pushing them and that's that's what I say is my hardest job now you know for my whole team how do I grind it and be sympathetic I don't have many sympathetic bones in my body but in this one case I'm finding a way to have many and uh, and so there's a lot of talks now there's a lot of you know I'm going to push it but I understand you know I'm going to get after you, but I understand, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm here for you still. It's just been a lot of balancing that line that nobody's taught me how to do it. So this is this is something we're, we're trying to learn as a staff and as a team. You just uh, won by close to 50 points, yet you're always thinking about what we can do better. How do you, how important is that mindset and, and seeing over the 50 point win, the score, and how do you get the players to accept that and not think, oh, that's coach, he's being picky? Oh, they definitely think that, you know. But, you know, when I show them they're four for 17 from the three or, you know, some foolish turnovers, I mean, listen, we're trying to get better every day. And I said this has been a week where we didn't get better in practice. And we understood it. This was a week when, you know, we put a lot on the line in that game at Seton Hall. And, um, you know, nothing against this team or what we did today. Um, we just... We didn't do all the things you need to do to win big games, okay? And um, but but it, it's been kind of fun because I've been able to talk to them about it. I've been able to. Uh, we've kind of all been in this together, which they say happens. You know, you rally around each other, and I. So it's not a lot of yelling and screaming. It's just a lot of. Uh, do you see this guys, or do you see that guys, or can you see why practice is so important, or can you see why this happens? Like I said, been a big learning curve, been a good learning curve. Tom, you might have talked about Rock a little bit. You know, it's, the shooting is still a struggle, but how much of a positive is it to see that it doesn't, it, he doesn't seem to get down. He's still pushing it. He's still getting the assists. He's still. Is, is that a polite thing. way to say he keeps shooting? No, <laughs> no. no sometimes no. you can see a guy affect no, the rest I'm of his kidding. game. You know I'm kidding. kidding. Yeah, he, I have been impressed with that. And, and when he took one. You know, one or two bad shots. I said, that wasn't a good shot. He said, well, you told me to be aggressive. <laughs> and I said, 
does aggressive mean? But then again, I thought, well, let me see an AU ball, and aggressive probably means that. So, <laughs> so, you know, he's learning me, I'm learning him. But what I really did like, he got some big time rebounds, came out of there with it. He got some, uh, some really nice assists, and he didn't even have the ball in his hands, you know, as much. So, I mean, he is making progress. He's getting better defensively. But there's so many new things, like today, you know, we walked through some things at 3 o'clock that we normally wouldn't do because I said to my staff yesterday, and this is, put it on the excuse table, put it wherever you want to put it, it really doesn't matter to me, I just, there's a reality, you know, when we started the season, we said, wow, Michigan State's going to be one of the most um, experienced teams in the country, and then, you know, why did we say that? Well, we had two 30-minute-a-game players coming back in Xavier and Cassius, and then a kid like um, Aaron Henry, who I think played 20-some minutes last year, and then Kyle Arns, and then Kyle got hurt early, and, uh, you know, there were some question marks on him, and then all of a sudden Josh, who was a 32-minute-a-game player last year, is out. So we started, you know, in a meeting last night we had, uh, with my staff, I said, okay, here's our subs. And you start thinking about the three sophomores, you know. Gabe played a little bit last year, I think six minutes a game. Um, uh, was Foster played five minutes a game. Uh, Markey played five, six minutes a game. And usually those minutes are, you know, not, Gabe played in a couple in the tournament, but I mean not great minutes. Then the three freshmen haven't played. That's six guys right there, you know. So we're playing a lot of <coughs> excuse me, guys that don't have experience and haven't played together with everybody. So when I say, you know, we have a long way to go, I try to add up the minutes of our top four guys, and I look at Duke and I look at Kentucky, and it's usually those people have five minutes for the, the guys that are coming back and all the rest are for freshmen. Now they have 75, 80, 100 minutes back, and we have 100 minutes back, you know. So... Um, I've got to be a little more patient than I like to be, and I have to understand that, um, you know, the Josh loss still was not only a big loss offensively and a big loss defensively, it was 30 minutes a game. And uh, so we're just going to keep building and keep working forward. But uh, this, this team has already overcome some incredible things, and yeah, we had a long way to go. Another one on Rocket. Uh, you've only coached him four games, but like, are you? Coming up with an idea of what is going to be the fine line of Rocket being Rocket and him having to operate within the confines you know, of what you want. You know, it's, uh, you're asking me a question, sir, but in Detroit can say I don't let him shoot or something, but he's, got, he's averaging more shots than I think anybody. But, you know, the truth of it is, I've been really pleased with him. He's fun to coach. You tell him to do something, he, he knows how to do it. Now, sustaining that is difficult, as it is for most freshmen. You know, sustaining that and remembering that, you know, like he shot his first free throw, he just grabbed it and shot it. I said, slow down, you know. And, but if, if I looked at what he's picked up already, it's been a treat. I mean, he really picks up things well and he's done a, a great job and he is tough, you know. But I told him, man, you know, sometimes people get mad at me for players, but when a player goes in for a layup, you got to go in there for a layup and dunk the thing and get after it. Otherwise, you'd even get left out of Iron Mountain, much less Detroit, you know. So it's been fun to talk to him about things like that. And, and uh, I mean, he really, you know, he, once in a while he gets a little moody. Hell, so do I. But I think in general, um, you know, Cash did a great job with him tonight on one shot and went right to him. And I told Cash, this, man, that's, that's what you got to do. So... I have no problem uh, because he's playing hard, because he wants to learn, he's getting in more, he's learning how to put more time into the game. And as I said, we got a freshman that's replacing a four-year, 30-minute-a-game player, and uh, it's going to take a little time. We'll do two more. Chris and Honda. Uh, Park, we talked about your team with the way it runs, the way it, it, it just gets out and goes, and running all those Arkansas teams. Back, beginning of your career. I know you played that. Um, is there? Do you see a similar pattern to that? Well, the difference with Arkansas is they pressed all the time, and so um, you know, Larry would be 
frothing at the mouth if you can cover Arkansas, you know, they press and everything. So we run, but they press more. We did play them when we came back from Maui. That was the first time in the palace, I think it was. But I've always been a Nolan Richardson fan, not because they run and press hard, they just play so damn hard. You know, his team's played harder than anybody. So I, I think what you are seeing is our team plays pretty hard. I think what you are seeing is I, I think we could be a great running team as we keep moving forward. Um, it's getting guys to play together and getting lineups to be fresh. We, we were coming down the court straight lined a lot tonight. And we're always trying to diagonal it. And uh, that was a little bit of a problem tonight. Something because Rock got so many good rebounds, he just came out with it. I mean, when he comes out with it, he is shot out of a cannon, you know. And uh, that's going to get better and better and better. So kind of looking forward to that myself. Tom, you just mentioned about, you know, guys being exhausted. Can it be a blessing to have a week between this and the next game just so you can practice, give guys rest, and just concentrate on you guys? Yeah, I, I think so, you know, but I don't know what that week's going to bring either, you know. I mean, one of the reasons, I mean, we actually had some days after the, it's just what we can do is not always as easy. You know, you can just get to a practice and, Guys have been great. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, they've been great. Cash has been great, but you can see there's not the, you know, and uh, so I've talked to a few people. There's been a couple of people that have really helped us, uh, help me, uh, help them. And uh, I think if we just keep pushing and, and yet have our ears open, you know, we got to be there to understand. Uh, but. You know, the trip to Hawaii, too, is a difficult trip. I mean, uh, it's not easy to go over there and, uh, you know, it's a long flight. You get there, you get a big time difference. That's why I, I think Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday are two of the more important days of this early preseason for us because you get over there. It's really hard to practice there. It's usually muggy and hot. And One year we went there and practice a little too hard, I think, and that's when we cramped up, if you remember back in those days. And so I've gotten a little older, a little wiser, a little smarter. And, um, I'm going to beat the hell out of them here, and then we'll go over there and take it easy and go out on the beach. Just you know, Sunday or something. <laughs> All good. Anything else? Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks.